The Aeronautical Development Establishment has floated a tender for vendors who can supply wind tunnel model that will be tested at the National Tunnel Test Facility at IIT Kanpur. The wind tunnel model could be of a futuristic unmanned fighter aircraft program, as tender documents mention that it has split rudder control surface deflection and the ability to demonstrate low supersonic speeds. The futuristic unmanned fighter aircraft could be a new autonomous fighter jet that will accompany manned fighter jets into battle, and can conduct a multitude of military actions, such as strategic combat operation, close air support, suppression and destruction of enemy air defenses. The FUFA futuristic unmanned fighter aircraft will have a takeoff weight of 5,500 kg, and can carry a 1,500 kg payload, that is more than double the capabilities of the CATS warrior. Bharat Electronics Limited had offered its 400 km range Roll 3 L band 3D air surveillance radar system to the export market and the system has attracted interest from international clients from France, Germany, UK, Canada and Sweden, and also from developing markets in Africa and South America. The Roll 3 can be used to detect air targets that include missiles, helicopters and fighter jets, and it can be used on warships, and can also be accommodated on wheeled vehicles for detection and tracking of sea surface and air targets. The 4-ton Roll 3 uses gallium nitride transmit receive module technology and incorporates the latest signal processing techniques. <laughs> India's Oshokop Global Private Limited has developed a semi-autonomous system to destroy hostile drones that comprises of two main elements: the Harpy unmanned high-speed aircraft missile and the Airvo's ground-based station. The ground station is equipped with an array of sensors, which assists the operator to locate an incoming threat target, while Hapia is a semi-autonomous high-speed ground-to-air unmanned aircraft missile, which uses advanced artificial intelligence and image processing technology to home into target UAV, and destroys it by direct impact at 300 km per hour speed, or by proximity sensor-activated explosion. The ex-managing director of BrahMos Aerospace has said that the BrahMos missile can defeat any electronic countermeasures and can even destroy the S-400 system and any other advanced air defense systems available across the globe. He also said that a major country had conducted a study to defeat the BrahMos missile, and the conclusion of the study was that their frontline ship can defend against one BrahMos missile, but if two BrahMos missiles are fired, no warship in the world can defend against the BrahMos missile, as the radar signature is like a bird, and the crew gets only 20 seconds to react after spotting the BrahMos missile on the radar system. He also said that the development of the Mach 3.5 BrahMos NG Universal Missile is also underway, which will use newer materials and electronic technology to give better performance, and a new facility is being established in Lucknow for its production. He also informed that the BrahMos 2 hypersonic missile is still on the drawing board, and it will take some more time. This statement also confirms the earlier news that the BrahMos 2 will be based on the DRDO developed scramjet propulsion system, as Russia has been non-committal on the transfer of scramjet engine to India, and it seems that there will be a smaller role of Russia in the development of BrahMos 2 missile. <laughs> Oh, my God.